Here we have the DAB Easy Box. This is a, a very expensive pump, but arguably in the market, probably the one of the reputation for being the best pump available. And today we're going to test it. With the DAB Easy Boxes, you normally need to prime them. And the way to do that is you open up at the top, I've got a little tool here, or you can use a large screwdriver, and then there's a priming plug here which you can remove. In our case, we took out the priming plug and because our tank's water level was quite high, it actually just ran through. So we ended up not, not needing to, to prime the unit. So let's close that up. Let's give it some power. And there it's starting. Just run a little bit of water through it just to get rid of all the air. Oh, incredibly quiet pump. Okay, the nice thing with the Easy Box units is they've got a very nice control panel that gives you an incredible amount of information and lots of options. It isn't the most user-friendly thing, so there's a bit of a learning curve, but once you've once you've got the hang of it, there's actually a lot you can do with it. So with this one, let's first see which, which what pressure we're set to that we hold in mode and set for three seconds okay it's set at three bar pressure so i think let's start from a, a lower pressure and just see how low we can okay so setting it to two bar and then we can see how um how low we can get this unit's power consumption it's definitely got a bigger tank than the Easy Box Mini. On the Mini, when you open, you'd notice a, a dip and flow as the tank gets empty. This one, the first release actually just came from the tank before the unit started. So, if it, we're at, at, at two bar, just run a small amount of flow just to see what the minimum power consumption of the unit is. So, it's actually only drawing 230 watt, which is very impressive. If we then run a single shower, it's overshooting the pressure a little bit. Pump is staying incredibly quiet. We're drawing 260 watt only, which is very similar to the Mini um, for a single shower. And that's at 500 liters an hour flow rate. If we then add a second one, we're now drawing only 300 watt, which is again very impressive and that is at a thousand um, liters per hour flow rate. If we add a third one, we're sitting at about a thousand six hundred liters an hour and only drawing 370 watt. That is incredibly impressive and it's actually staying very quiet. If we then open our feedback to the tank to get to two and a half thousand liters an hour, two and a half thousand liters an hour we're only drawing 520 watt so that is incredibly impressive we're seeing a bit of pressure drop there but that's because we're drawing a lot through the pipe work okay so at two bar pressure this thing is incredibly efficient let's turn up the pressure a bit at two and a half bar pressure now with only a small amount of flow running. We're at 280 watt, which is very impressive. With a single shower, only climbs to 320 watt. And we're sitting at about 600 liters an hour. Two showers at 380 watt power consumption and about 1,200 litres an hour. Three showers running at 1,800 litres an hour. We're only drawing 470 watt. That is incredibly efficient. Now, keep in mind, this is a bit low pressure if you need to run through filters. But if it's just on a system of outfiltration, you can actually use it at a pressure like this. If we then 
set it to free bar. Staying incredibly quiet. Just the low, small flow, 340 watt. A single shower, 390 watt. Two showers, 480 watt. And at three showers, only at 610 watt. And if we then take it up to the two and a half thousand liters an hour, Mm -hmm. Overshot it a bit there. They were only drawing 740 watt. So free bar it's easily, easily manageable still. Let's say three and a half bar. Three and a half bar was the limit which we could run on the EasyBox Mini um, for this sort of test setup before it started flashing that it's going over power. If we do just, let's just see if we're getting a dip in flow. If we open it quickly, flow is staying smooth. So it's definitely able to cope a lot better with um, sudden loads. Okay. Now at three and a half bar, we're starting to get a little bit higher power consumption. We're at 420 watt for just having a small flow running. If we then up that to a, a, a single shower, that's 490 watt. And we're sitting at about 700 liters an hour. We're overshooting, but very slightly only. It's two showers sitting at 590 watt and 1,400 liters an hour flow rate. We have a third shower added, 750 watt, and we're just at about 2,100 liters per hour. Pump is still amazingly quiet. We then take it up to 2,500 liters an hour, only at 870 watt. See if we take it up to four bar. Definitely here it's starting to spin the motor a little bit quicker. So I think our base power consumption is going to go up a bit with this. Yeah, so just for a small load we're sitting at um, 490 watts now. We have a single shower. We're at 580 watt, and that is at about um, 800 liters per hour. It's keeping its pressure nicely. This second um, second shower, we're at 700 watt, and um, at about 1,500 liters an hour. What's interesting is at this flow rate, we're actually drawing quite a bit less power than the um, EasyBox Mini did. So the larger pump is actually able to be more efficient at the higher pressure than, um, than the smaller unit. If we add a third shower, we're at 890 watt and about 2,200 liters per hour. So almost at the higher test edge. Take that up to 25. We're at 960 watt. Now I want to set it to four and a half bar. At four and a half bar, the EasyBox Mini was um, immediately giving uh, overpower consumption problems. So it couldn't really get a single shower running even at that pressure. So with a small flow, we are drawing 570 watts. So you, you're no longer very efficient, but can keep the pressure easily. A single shower then is at 670 watt at four and a half bar. It's keeping the pressure fairly well. 
and we're at about 800 liters per hour. If we add a second one, we're at 820 watt, which is, um, even with just the partial load, the Easybox Mini was sitting at over 800 watts at this pressure. So it was sitting at 820 watt for 1,600 liters an hour. Opening a third shower. We had 1,040 watt. And we're basically almost at our two and a half thousand liters an hour. So I'm not going to open that one. So you start to lose power savings at this pressure, but it's actually still able to keep it very well. Let's see if we turn it up to five bar. Five bar with a small load. It's at 640 watt, but it is maintaining it. It's overshooting a little bit, but not too much. With a single shower, nice smooth delivery, 760 watt. And we're at about 900 liters an hour. Two showers, 930 watt, and that is at about 2,600 liters an hour. We add a third one. Now we can start hearing the pump um, really, really spooling up. And yes, now we're at 1,200 watts. So there we're, we're actually reaching, reaching its limit with three showers at five bar. And we're at about two and a half thousand liters an hour. So three, three showers at five bar is a bit too much. Let's just see what it will do at five and a half. But I suspect we're getting up a bit too high for this unit. Okay. A small load at five and a half bar at 730 watts. A single shower running at 900 liters an hour. It's 870 watts. If we then open a second one, you can hear the pump starting to struggle. And we're at 1,060 watt, and we're supplying 1,700 liters an hour. And I expect if we open the third one, oh, it's actually going higher still. It's at 1,350 watt power consumption now, and just over two and a half thousand liters an hour. And it's actually dropping a little bit there but it's still showing at the pump at 5.4 bar so almost keeping keeping that level of pressure let's see if it'll manage something at six bar six bar i think is the highest you can set the unit to small load Drawing 790 watt with a single shower. Drawing 970 watt. And we're actually keeping six bar at the pump and just over six bar here. Opening a second shower uh, at 1180 watt. And it's just dropping under, it's supplying 5.9 bar at the pump here at 1,800 liters an hour, which is very impressive. Um, but that is quite a bit of power consumption. If we then open a third shower, we drop down to 5.4 bar, and again, um, 1,350 watts. So I think that's flat out. Interesting. So it looks like this pump has actually got enough capacity that you can really use it at higher pressures, but it does, does definitely come at the cost of power consumption. But the nice thing with this is, with a smaller unit, you would struggle, say if you want to use it on a system with vessels where you'd want about 2000 liters an hour at a minimum of two bar pressure, this one would be able to provide it where the Easybox Mini is a little bit on the small side for it. Um, 
another thing to keep in mind with any of the dab pumps, this one or, the, or any of the EasyBox dab pumps, is the pressure controller, you can't set a bigger pressure drop. So adding a larger pressure tank doesn't really benefit you that much as you only have a, up to a maximum of a one bar pressure drop that you, that you can set. So you'll only get a small um, amount of capacity out of any pressure tank you use. But yes, overall impressions, I think this one's lived up to its reputation. It's actually a very nice, um, very, very nice pump. It's providing what it, what it says it can, and it's staying really quiet doing it. Well done.